Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the leaf hopper stitch, uh, which is a fun stitch to work. It has a lot of texture in it and uh, gets its name from these uh, kind of cluster stitches here that look like leaves. Uh, it is very textured on the front. The back is a more smooth backing. Uh, and uh, it's uh, once you get it going the stitch is fairly straightforward so uh, thank you so much for joining me today for the tutorial I'm going to be using some paint box cotton yarn as well as a five millimeter crochet hook and there'll be links to both of these items in the description of the video also in the description you'll find the link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain today will need to be a multiple of four stitches plus three. So today I'm going to chain a total of 23 stitches. There's 10. And 23. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four. Into this fourth chain, work one double crochet. The chain three at the beginning does count as a stitch. And then double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row two, double crochet into that next stitch. Your chain three counts as a stitch. So double crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to work your first leaf hopper cluster, and uh, it's going to be worked. So this is your next stitch here. Uh, but it's going to be worked over uh, the stitches at uh, the posts of the stitches down below. So to work your leaf hopper cluster, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook um, around the post of the stitch prior to the one that we're working. So we're working this next stitch here. So under the previous stitch, which is the second stitch in your row, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook around that post of that stitch uh, from the front through to the back, out through the front again. And you're going to yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to do that twice around the same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook around the post of that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. You want to pull those loops up to the height of your double crochet stitch. You're then going to uh, yarn over and draw through four loops on your hook. So you're going to keep that one there. There's four loops, yarn over and draw through the first four loops. You'll have two loops remaining on your hook. You're then going to skip down below, skip the next stitch, the one that you're working, in and then into that next stitch you're going to repeat what you just did so yarn over around the post of the next stitch insert your hook from front through the back out through the front again yarn over draw up a loop do that one more time around the post yarn over draw up a loop then yarn over pull through the four loops on your hook you then have three left yarn over and pull through all three. That's your first leaf hopper stitch. 
You're then going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So looking at your work, uh, if you pull that leaf stitch forward, you have that stitch that uh, is technically your leaf hopper stitch, so that's next stitch there that's not worked. Then into this next stitch, that's the one uh, at the top of the post of the last uh, leaf that you just worked, insert your hook and work your first double crochet there. So there's one, two, and three. You're then going to want to work another leaf hopper stitch. So this is this is your next stitch that you're working in right here, but we're actually going to be working in the posts on either side. So yarn over, bring your hook in front, insert it around the post of the previous stitch. So it's the stitch that you just actually worked your last double crochet stitch in. Yarn over, draw up a loop, repeat that. You're going to skip the next stitch down there and then into the next one or around the post of the next one. Work your leaf stitch yarn. Oh, sorry. Before we do that, you're going to yarn over and pull through four loops. You're then going to skip the next stitch around the post of the next. Yarn over, insert your hook, draw up a loop. Repeat that. Yarn over, pull through four loops on your hook. Three loops remaining. Yarn over and pull through all three. Once again, if you take a look in behind it, that's the stitch you are technically working in. You then want to double crochet into the next three stitches. So the first double crochet is actually into the stitch that you just worked around the post of. So there's one, two, and three. And then you're going to repeat. So repeat that all the way across, beginning with another leaf hopper stitch. All the way across until you come to uh, your final, uh, let me see, it's going to be two stitches there, and you'll work your final two double crochet stitches. I'm at the end of my row two here, so I have a double crochet into uh, that double crochet around where I worked my final leaf around and then a double crochet into the top of my chain three because remember your chain three counts as a stitch. And that brings me to the end of my row two. For row three, chain one, or sorry, chain three <laughs> and turn your work. You're now simply going to work a double crochet into the next stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. Once again, remember your chain three is a stitch, so you will work your final double crochet into that chain three stitch. For row four, you're going to chain three and turn your work. You're then going to skip the first stitch because that chain three counts as a double crochet stitch and then double crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're then going to work your next stitch as a leaf hopper stitch working uh, the first part of your stitch in around the post of the same stitch as your last double crochet stitch. So right here. Then skip that next stitch of the row below and then working around the post of the next double crochet 
work the second part of your leaf hopper stitch yarn over pull through all three and then looking back here again at the top of your stitches you have the next one is unworked then work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches and you're then going to repeat work a leaf hopper stitch beginning with the post of the stitch down below that you just worked skip the next stitch next post of the next stitch and then around the post of the next work the other part of your leaf hopper stitch skip that stitch on the top and work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches repeat that all the way across and when you come to uh, after your final leaf hopper stitch there you're going to work one double crochet into each of the final four double crochet stitches at the end of your row four you'll come to the end you'll have your final four double crochet stitches you can chain three which counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work your row five is worked exactly like your row three and you'll double crochet into each stitch all the way across when you come to the end you can chain three and turn your work and you're ready to start the repeat from then on you're simply going to repeat your rows two through to five for as long as you would like fasten off weave in your ends and that is your leaf hopper stitch so thank you so much for joining me once again i invite you to subscribe take a look around and i look forward to seeing you again next week until then happy crocheting bye